Hello everyone, Paul from High Tech Legion, and we'll be taking a look at the OC Key, which is a performance tuning peripheral provided with the ASUS Rampage 4 Extreme Edition motherboard. As a peripheral, it is a piece of hardware that connects to your video card via a DVI port, and then your DVI connector connects into the OC Key which is powered by a USB that, is, that connects directly to your motherboard header, which is down in the corner here behind the video card. The OC key then generates an on-screen display so you could performance tune your motherboard and your system without having to enter the BIOS. Okay. Now that we've taken a look at the OC key itself, the piece of hardware, we've got to connect it to our computer. The next thing you're going to do in order to get this display up, the OSD monitor, is you're going to push in your ROG Connect bu button on the Rampage 4 Extreme for three seconds and the OSD monitor will come up. After you do that, wait about three to four seconds press it again for a second until the ROG Connect light comes on that will change the keyboard over from your desktop to the OSD monitor the OSD monitor basically shows you what your ratios are what your voltages are and your frequencies starting from left to right CPU voltage CPU VCS, VCCSA CPU ratio and base clock CPU frequency. If you're using LN2, the sub zero cents, your VGA core one and two, and your CPU temperature. Bottom left is how you adjust your, your uh, settings. Your o OSD tweak it, OSD monitor, and OSD setting. We'll start with the OSD setting. If you tab down to it, you have a keyboard control which you could set to on or off, your OSD remote, that will allow you to shut your system off, reset it, force it off, clear your CMOS. Temperature unit, Celsius or Fahrenheit. Transparency, you could set it from a zero transparency to 75%. Magnifier, right now I do have it magnified. If I demagnify it, as you can see, it goes up to the left, upper left-hand corner and it becomes fairly small. For the video purposes, we will keep it magnified. OC key power. This is how you shut off OC key without having to, to actually hit the uh, ROG Connect button again. Your OSD monitor. OSD monitor shows your voltages, frequencies, temperatures, fan speeds, and the monitor type. If you look right now, we have it on voltage. It shows the CPU voltage all the way down to the PCH voltage. Frequencies, your base clock frequency, the ratio, and your CPU frequency. Your temperatures, fan speeds and you have a monitor type which sets it to normal mode and extreme mode. What we'll do now is we'll look at the OS, OSD tweak it and this is where you will you're able to adjust your settings to performance tune your system. In the meantime I'll bring up uh, AI Suite 2 so we could take a look at the frequencies and how they're changing. Right now, as you can see, the frequency is set to the CPU ratio is 39. Of course, the CPU frequency is 39, uh, 3.9 gigahertz. So we'll go ahead and we'll do OSD tweak it. I'll hit that. And of course, what it's going to do is it's going to bring up some settings for you. You can change your base clock, your CPU ratio, your CPU voltage, VCCSA voltage, DRAM voltage, and these you can do on the fly. Now, of course, with Sandy Bridge, Sandy Bridge E, and the upcoming generation of Intel processors, basically we have gotten away from raising the base clock 
to performance tune our systems or our CPUs. We're basically using the turbo ratio or the CPU multiplier turbo ratio to performance tune our, our systems. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll hit the plus button on our keyboard and as you can see I'm actually raising the multiplier. I raise that to 42. I'm going to hit F10 to apply those changes. Enter to confirm. And if we wait a couple seconds, you'll notice that at the bottom right hand side, you see that the CPU frequency on ASUS uh, AI Suite 2 changed to 4210.8. Now just say I want to go ahead and change my CPU voltage. I could go ahead and do that. Let's change that to 1.35. hit enter, hit F10 to apply, enter to confirm, and as you can see the CPU voltage went up. Of course it'll give it a little bit more voltage when when it needs it, but at this time it's basically hovering around 1.3, 1.32. That's basically all you need to do with, uh, with the OC key and the OSD monitor. Now, if we wanted to reset the system, let's go back to setting, and we'll go to the OSD remote. We can go ahead and shut it off, hit the system reset. That will shut it down and it'll restart the computer. As you can see, when you have the OS key, OS, uh, key connected, you're still going to get the display when it's in use. So it'll go through its boot up process, and what will happen is we will keep the same settings, and then from there, if we want to go ahead and readjust our defaults, etc., we can. That's been a quick overview of how to use the ASUS OC key for the ASUS Rampage 4 Extreme Edition motherboard. Hope you enjoyed it. See you the next time. Stay thirsty my friends. Bye bye.